All right, hey guys, so you're back for another Armour Free tutorial. Um, today we're going to look at what to change in the server config PBO. So, we're going to head into wherever you installed the um, server, so from the last video. Um, so I put mine in Armour Free Exile t um, Server Test. So we're going to go in there, we're going to go in Steam Apps, Common, Armour Free Server, then at Exile Server, add-ons and then we're going to open up this folder here which is um, exile server config pbo i'm going to right click i'm going to go over to extract um with the pbo manager sorry i'm going to go to extract um exile server config let's go make this little folder here which is obviously this open i'm going to go in here we're going to go in config and we're going to open this with notepad plus plus we're going to head down to Let's have a look. I head down to here. We're um, CFG settings. Um, we're not going to change anything in that part. We're gonna, not going to change anything with the garbage collector either. We're going to head down here to database. Right. The only things that we're going to change in here is um, the territorial lifetime, um, which is set to seven at the moment. So every seven days, you have to pay a fee to keep your base, or else it gets wiped. Um, so if you're f playing with friends and stuff and you're not really bothered about paying for things like that, you're just having a mess around, you're going to want to change this. So you can set this to whatever you want. So you can change it to 14 days if you do want to pay the fees you know, and make it a bit more realistic as, as an in-game thing. Or you can change it to 365 like what I do. And you don't have to worry about fees. You can just have your base there and you don't have to worry about it getting wiped off your server, um, etc. Um the only other thing that we're going to change in here as well is this one here which is remove all vehicles that were not moved slash used for x days so any vehicles that you've got out in the world um, that you've purchased um, won't get wiped so you're better off changing this to 365 as well so every 365 days which is obviously a year um, which is going to be miles over the time that you're playing anyway um, will not be um deleted so that'll be a bonus um obviously you can change this as well to whatever you want um if you want a, a, a week period seven you know put type seven in there if you want 14 days which is two weeks you know type the 14 days in there or however long you want if you want a month 31 days you know self-explanatory right next part is respect um you can change these as well i don't normally change these uh, flags no we don't normally change that uh right uh bambi settings which is when you first load into the world um obviously you par par um, parachute down to the floor and you're normally in some orange overalls and um, you cannot change the orange overalls they are there by default you cannot change this unless you script them in which we'll do in a later video um, you can change other bits and you can add bits to this. Um, you can add guns, you can add um, uh, harnesses or um, vests, sorry. Um, you can add uh, night vision goggles, which I normally add in here. Obviously, make sure you put a little dash um, after each one or else it's not going to work. Um, so, you know, for the next one, yeah, you would not saying that you would have this, but you would put a dash on the end and then type in another one and then if that was the last one just leave the dash off you can put a dash there if you want to it's not really going to hurt it it's just so then um on this one here it's just so then the program or whatever it is that reads it can read onto the next line um i'll get rid of that one <coughs> but you can add anything you want in here um backpacks is a bit touchy cuz if you put a backpack on here um it you kind of take away the parachute it replaces the parachute so if you're he if you're spawning in from the sky and you're helo spawning and you're parachuting down you ain't going to have a parachute so you're just going to constantly hit the floor so what I'd advise with that is you turn off parachute spawning change this to zero and you will spawn on the ground and then you'll have a backpack on your on your back um but obviously if you want 
um, helo spawning on change that to one but you will have to remove backpacks from this if you do add one on there um, you can add um, vests which I just said um, guns uh, hats you can add anything you want in here really apart from apart from if you, if you are parachuting in remove backpacks don't add a backpack I mean there's gonna be loads of backpacks on your server anyway so people are always find one um, <coughs> you can change the um, uh, drop height um, you can change this to however high you want it to I mean obviously the higher you go the longer it's going to take you to fall out of the sky so I'd probably leave it around a thousand you know which doesn't really take all that long to drop uh, sp uh, you don't need to change that protection duration um, spawn zone radius I'd leave it at 500 because you it's, it's pretty big as it is um, right this part here we'll, we're gonna leave that part for now and I'm gonna show this in another video um, after this one right going down here vehicle spawn we don't need to touch that one yet right you can turn um, thermal vision on for um, vehicles so if you haven't got um, if you've got night vision and stuff then you can use the thermal inside the um, tanks or cars or whatever it is that you're using um, you can change that to a one if you need to I don't normally I normally leave them how they are night vision on and then thermal vision off um, coming down to the weather intervals 30 minutes um, you can change this to whatever you want if you if you want the weather to change every 10 minutes change put a take away the free put a one in there um, yeah self-explanatory really uh, I normally leave all this normally leave that uh, warnings um, apparently this uh, the warning stuff here um, doesn't work unless you've got infastar apparently I've not yet tried this out so I wouldn't know um, yada, 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 yada. No, don't need none of that I think that is it for the oh yeah yeah you uh, yeah this this is a um, part as well which I wanted to discuss um, the earthquakes it's set to a minimum player of one so um, the, there will be earthquakes on your server and it kind of destroys buildings um, so if, if you've put down like the big solar tower um, it will eventually destroy that so if I was you I'd probably set this to like um, I, I never have any more than five people on my server anyway so I normally set this to ten people so there's it, it will never happen there, there will never be an earthquake um, which I'm not really fussed about I mean if you want them and you want it to destroy your buildings and stuff it does get kind of annoying but you know if you want that on just leave it on one um, <coughs> excuse me uh, the next thing is supply boxes right so I normally change this to one so then I get supply boxes coming in you get different types of boxes you get beer boxes you get tools you get food and you get repair parts um, this is all customizable um, you can put whatever you want in these uh, you can even change the name of them uh, you, you, you can make whatever crate you want really um, as long as you take it out of uh, I don't know like exile uh, folders or whatever or We'll we'll get round to that and we'll show you this at some point. But um, this is what this part is at the moment. Um, but yeah, you can change the time as well on this as well. From, um, it's a, a minimum time of sixty minutes of play time and up there max time of one hundred and eighty minutes. So just over an hour and a half. Uh, no, just over two hours. I think that is. So I'm on ninety. Yeah. Just, 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 just over or just under two hours. Um, it will drop down, and you can go get it, or whoever gets it first, type of scenario. If you want that, um, escape supply box. I've never done this, so I wouldn't know. Uh, max player of one people online. Uh, minimum player, sorry, of one per person's online. Uh, I've never attempted this one, so I wouldn't know. Um, but yeah. As far as changing things though, I'll change the earthquakes, the supply drop, um, the night vision, I'll probably keep as it is, um, 
vehicle spawns. No, we'll do that one in the next one. Uh, helo spawns. If you want to spawn on the floor and stuff, like I say, change that to zero. Um, then you can add whatever you want in this part here. Uh, that is it for that part, I think. Oh yeah, and the ter uh, database um, territory parts as well, and the cars. Um, just change those two parts there. Don't really need to muck around with any of the other pieces. It won't do anything on there anyway. Delete a base X days after the flag is stolen. Yeah, you can do that anyway. Right, so yeah, that's going to be it then for today. Right, cheers guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. One more thing, guys. I did forget to say. Uh, once once you have finished, um, just press save. Close. Just make a new folder, like I stated with the uh, mission PBO. Uh, just call this. Just call this original, and we'll put the original file in there. We're gonna right-click, go down to PBO Manager, and pack into another PBO. Then you have them settings for the next time you boot up. Right, cheers guys, I'll see you in the next video.